with myself That's the way I wanna be Laughing with myself That's the brightest side of me yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone! I'd like to start the episode off with a couple of songs that I've heard on learned on piano. Alright? First one is the classic tune of Simple Gifts. Alright? I danced to that when I was a little girl. I was in ballet, and uh, yeah, it was one of my first performances as a human. And the next song I'm gonna play is called, it's called The Sea. It's a Japanese tune, and my lovely teacher, shout out to Joe, Joseph Kleist, piano teacher. When I got back from Japan, got back. <laughs> When I got back from Japan, he had this book for me. How sweet. But it, yeah, it's called The Sea. All right, here I go. <gasps> Fuck. Can I start again? Well, I'm gonna. All right, so I have some things to discuss with you. Okay, last night I was taking out the trash and I put on my Crocs and I felt something slimy in there. And it was a little slug. And when I looked in the Croc, or when I felt it first, when I felt the little squish, the slime, I'm pretty sure the sound that came out of my mouth was something like, I don't know. Um, I set him free. Hopefully he's still slugging around, you know? Um, let's see. Uh, I, I hosted a cool event for tree people. They're a real great organization that help plant trees, help take care of the hiking trails and mountains all around L.A. County. And in fact, tomorrow morning, I have to go, I'm going to go plant some trees. Um, and should be a good time to get my hands dirty, get them in the soil. Uh, but yeah, I hosted this cool event and it was all musicians. It was cool. I loved it. And it was outside under the oak trees. MCing is hard. Hosting is really tough, but I think I did a pretty damn good job. I uh, had some nature things to talk about. I shared how I love the movie Fantastic Fun Guy, and I've watched it many times on Netflix. It's all about mushrooms and how I watched it when I was quarantine when I was quarantining by myself, which wasn't a smart movie to document documentary to watch because all the mushrooms, you know look like you know but i love that movie i uh talked about with them how the super bloom all the plants in la are in super bloom because of the amount of rain we had this year and whenever i see them just blooming i can't help myself but make the sound ah uh. Cause that's how the plants look. There's just ready and ready to 
<laughs> sorry if you're listening with the, uh, sorry if that's nasty um I oh yeah I want to talk about some nasty things about my, myself when I was a kid my brothers they would go do little league they would play baseball now this was something nasty that I did when they would come home from their games they would wear cleats that's the baseball shoe with the little spikes at the bottom so my brothers brothers would take off their shoes after a long game and I what would I do I would smell it I would sniff inside I know that's so nasty but I it smelled like popcorn and I love who doesn't love as a kid we didn't get a lot of popcorn in the household so I, I had to get what I could and I would sniff them mmm buttery that was nasty. When my, my brother, when we would watch cartoons, we would have our socks off, just barefoot. And that, when he was a kid, he had little fungi on this bottom of his feet. Well, not fungi, uh, athlete's foot or whatever. But, it, it, you know, I would pick at it when we would watch Anim Animaniacs or something. I would just, the foot would be near me, so I would just... I like picking things. Uh, I was laughing today thinking about... So growing up, I mean, I had strict parents. And in high school, my my mom, she knew all our friends, my siblings and I. She knew our friends pretty well and their parents. Um, and she, man, she could sense, she could sniff out the bad influence kids. Like she just knew. And she would be like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that Denise girl. There's something about her. And I'd be like, she's cool. She's my friend, mom. And I remember my mom saying this a few times. Oh yeah, you you think she's cool? <laughs> if she were to go jump off a cliff, would you go with her? And I would go, no! <laughs> but that no was a total, uh, yeah! <laughs> Tristy's cool! I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go wee with her. I'm just kidding. But man, my mom knew. She knew. I had good friends, though. Well, I didn't even... I didn't even go out a lot. I, I think I can count how many times. It was probably just less than 10 times out of my whole high, high school years. I went to the mall and dances and stuff. Ah. Hmm. Oh, I said this word the other day. I totally forgot about this word. Uh, bazooka. Um, Penny, my dog, she pooped. And when I saw it, the poop, I go, whoa, that's a big bazooka. And I was like, what the? I haven't used that word in a while. And I Googled it just because I was like, where does it come from? And there was the bazooka bubble gum. And also, I guess bazooka is a weapon. So, but bazooka? I don't know. That doesn't sound like a tough weapon sound. Yeah, we're going in there. Hand me the bazooka. You got it. <laughs> Wait, sir, is that how the bazooka sounds? Yeah. What? What about it? Nothing, it's just, what? It's funny. Don't you make fun of my bazooka, boy. Oh. <laughs> what? That's it. I'm gonna bazooka you right in the butt. No, General! How come when we cut avocados, you always, when you slice all the way around the avocado, you always end up on the same spot that you started the cut or the slice? I don't know. Just thought about that one day. Oh, this, uh, this is a classic comparison joke, but you guys know me with dating and stuff. I don't really care. You know why? Because there's no goal. I don't, there's no goal in it for me. 
Like when people ask me, I can't, or, or when they were like, I don't get why you're not on the market. Why you're still on the market. I don't like that phrase, by the way. How, I just don't understand how you're still on the market. I do. Cause I choose it. I'm selfish. Um, <laughs> I, now I was thinking, there's no goal in the sense, I've never been like, oh, I need marriage, I need kids, I need to have, like, I don't, I really don't. That's not a big want for me, truly. But I am always trying to make sure I stay open to love, but I'm not actively asking people like, oh, do you have an, oh, is that your boyfriend? Oh my God, does he have any friends? That's not, I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna let him, oh, let me know if he has friends. As I'm single, I don't like that. It bugs me. Um, but I will say I like being open to love because I know it's magic. It's magical. And when you're, when you're cracking up with the person that just, you know, makes you feel good, it's, it's exciting. So, and I don't want to grow old as an old lady and, and just be a grunt. Like, I don't want anyone. I don't want that for sure. Oh, cuidado. The sirens. Um, but the way I see my dating life, it's a lot like when you get a tote bag. You know, someone will be like, here you go. And you're like, well, I, I'm not going to say no to it. I mean, I in the past, I've taken great care of my tote bags. Yeah, they look, yeah, they're good. I love tote bags. I could have them carry all my shit, you know? But in the end, I'm always the one who loses it. Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> I won't do anymore. All right, that's it for me. <laughs> you guys be good out there. And uh, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, I'm starting to go on the road again on the road again i'm hitting up bloomington indiana for the limestone comedy festival that is going to be next week weekend uh and <laughs> i just silent farted <laughs> too bad you couldn't hear it um <clears throat> it's still going <laughs> Yeah, anyway, check my site. I've been doing a better job updating it and my newsletters, too. There's been a lot of new art. All right, you guys are uh, awesome. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Relax, enjoy, laugh, see things through that silly lens. All right, see ya. Laughing with myself. That's the way I want to be. Laughing with myself. That's the baddest side of me